हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन हियर आई एम टू क्लियर मेनी ऑफ योर डाउट्स लाइक मेनी एस्पिरेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी मैडम विल माय कर्नाटका टीईटी और सी टीईटी प्रिपरेशन हेल्प एच एस टी आर और विल माय टीईटी प्रिपरेशन हेल्प जी पी एस टी आर और आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेर फॉर जी पी एस टी आर आई हैव गॉट द जॉब ऑल्सो बट स्टिल आई वॉन्ट टू write hstr and uh, get the uh, high school teacher job so will my gpstr preparation help hstr and uh, few aspirants are also asking me madam now uh, kset exam uh, has been uh, announced right so madam my hstr preparation will it help my kset exam so many such uh, questions are there so so much confusion is there in the mind of the aspirants so i am here to clear all your doubts of this type okay so if you are uh, anyone who is having any doubt uh, relating to tet i mean to say karnataka tet ctet even uh, kvs uh, emrs uh, hstr gpstr and even kset then you should watch this video till the end okay so firstly let me clear your one of the main doubt it is uh, madam which exam is more difficult tet gpstr or hstr and now kset has also joined uh, this group uh, of course i would like to include net exam also okay not only that we have many other exams like uh, we have uh, emrs right emrs is there in that we have uh, tgt we have uh, pgt of course kvs is done now i don't think they will ask for uh, Uh, kvs in tet we have uh, karnataka tet and we have common tet of course these exams are also done now they will come next year only so let me clear your main doubt in all these examinations i can keep uh, all tets and uh, tgt and gpstr and hstr in one group i cannot keep kset in the first group okay that's why kset and net exam will be in the second group for this video okay so talking about the first group uh, examinations see we have tet gpstr and hstr so your doubt is madam if i am preparing for karnataka tet uh, and common tet can i clear gpstr first let me uh, tell you one thing tet for that matter karnataka tet and common tet they are easy exams when compared to gpstr and hstr okay so kset i will not include right now because we have put it in the second group right so these are group 1 exams for this video okay so tet is the easy exam when compared to gpstr in tet also if you talk about paper 1 and paper 2 so paper 1 will be very much easier when compared to paper 2 okay why because paper 1 means they are talking only about the primary classes right for paper 2 higher classes will come that's the reason why paper 1 will be easier than paper 2 now overall if i tell paper 1 and paper 2 together they are easy when compared to gpstr gpstr will become tough when compared to tet why because in gpstr you have mcqs also you have descriptive questions also okay so you have to give descriptive answers subjective answers will be there in gpstr plus you have to read everything you have to read pcmb if you are a science teacher okay so this matter is here also anyway you have to read pcmb here in paper 2 it will be in the form of science in paper 1 it will be in the form of evs but you have to read everything okay but because gpstr is a descriptive paper that's the reason why it will become tough when compared to tet okay now talking about hstr when you compare hstr with gpstr and tet it will become more tough of course you have mcqs only but you have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 and uh, 
in paper 1 you have a general paper in paper 2 you have your method paper if you are a uh, pm student you have physics and maths and if you are a cb student then you have chemistry and biology in paper 2 okay of course it is mcq based but it becomes tough because it is having a syllabus ranging from primary school till bsc okay many chapters are there from degree also so this syllabus is there for hstr okay now moving back to the syllabus for a tet syllabus will be of only primary in paper 1 for a paper 2 your syllabus will be till uh, maybe till class 10th it is there till SSLC but a few topics are there from PUC also okay so SSLC plus PUC but PUC is very few but in HSTR there are many topics from PUC and few topics from degree also now coming to GPSTR this is there till high school only okay the syllabus is there till high school only that's the reason why HSTR becomes more tough for you. Okay, now clear, right? Now coming back to your question again. Madam, if I prepare for TET, will it be helpful for GPSTR? See, of course, TET will help you in basics of GPSTR. But it will not help you in getting the job of GPSTR. Because TET was a very basic examination wherein just you have to qualify it to get eligibility to write exams like GPSTR. Okay, but GPSTR is itself an achievement if you get the job because it is a government job and of course the exam will be tough and lot of competition will be there. You need to get the highest score to get that job. That's why when you prepare for TET, your basics will become strong that is for sure but just preparing for TET will not help you get the top marks in GPSTR okay it is same for HSTR also if you have prepared for GPSTR and TET it will surely help you with HSTR but 100% it will not help you in such a manner that you will get the job because the syllabus is only different for HSTR. In fact, if you prepare for HSTR, you can prepare for CRIS, you can prepare for TGT, you can prepare for KVS and so on. That will help you. In fact, uh, uh, I think uh, more than uh, 500 aspirants have joined my HSTR courses. My first batch aspirants who joined uh, HSTR uh, PM method course, they were very happy because at that time only KVS came. So many aspirants qualified KVS by attending my HSTR course. They were very happy and all were very grateful to me for conducting those HSTR classes. And luckily KVS also came at that time. So HSTR helped them a lot with the KVS. Like that it will also help for Christ also because the syllabus is same. Syllabus for HSTR is same as a CRIS and KVS. Of course, it will help you with TGT also. Now, this was about your first group category. Okay. Now, coming to our second group category of this uh, video, the KSET exam. Now, talking about KSET exam, the syllabus is utterly different when you compare it with TET, GPSTR and HSTR. Because here the syllabus is MSc level. Okay. If you ask me madam whether TET preparation will help me for KSET. Madam will HSTR preparation help me for KSET. Then I will say your basics will become strong for any uh, examination. Okay. Basics will be strong. But uh, not even one question you can answer for KSET if you are not preparing specifically for KSET. Okay, because in KSET you have MSc level syllabus is there. For example, talking about mathematics, you need to know very good differentiation. You need to know very good integration and applications based on derivatives you need to know. And you need to know lot of higher level mathematics. Okay. 
Now, because KSET is MSc level examination, that will surely help you with the net exam. If you are preparing for KSET, then you can surely attempt a net exam, which is the national eligibility test. It is same like a KSET, but that is a for a national level. Okay, it will help you for net exam, but that will also not help you in clearing net exam because. K set does not have negative marking, no negative marking for K set, but net exam has negative marking. Okay, that's the reason why your K set will become easy when compared to net exam. Okay, K set is easy exam when compared to net exam because net exam becomes very tough. Okay, so I can guarantee you that if you prepare for K set exam. You you can gather confidence to attend for net exam, but you cannot clear net exam just by preparing for KSET exam. Okay, but if you prepare for net exam, then you can easily write KSET exam. You will surely clear it. Okay. Now uh, let me be uh, more specific once again. So what I was telling, I was telling that KSET exam is uh, easy when you compare it with the. Uh, net exam because net exam will become tough okay so it is capital net right so net exam will become tough when compared to case at exam if you are preparing for net exam you can easily clear case it but if you are preparing for case it it is not easy to clear net exam okay so much is clear now let us go back to our tet gpstr and hstr if you are preparing for hstr you can write tet and gpstr but there is one problem in hstr you have specific subjects like pm and cv but in tet and gpstr you need to learn all pcmb so if you are preparing for hstr then you can write physics and maths part of gpstr if you are a pm method aspirant and you can write chemistry and biology part of tet and gpstr if you are a cb method student that too you can answer few questions only you cannot answer all questions because uh, uh, sometimes tet and gpstr people go into very fundamental basics uh, depth uh, that uh, sometimes we miss while preparing uh, hstr okay because uh, that becomes next level right but in gpstr you have all four pcmb will be there so that's why you have to prepare separately for gpstr same case is with tet tet only mcqs will be there but in gpstr you have descriptive paper so that's why you have to prepare separately for gpstr okay so what is the moral of the story i really hope that your confusion is gone now you have to prepare separately for tet and ctet they both fall in one category okay then you have to prepare separately for gpstr then you have to prepare separately for hstr along with hstr crisis is there then emrs tgt is there then kvs is there all this will fall in one category okay then you have to prepare separately for kset and you have to prepare separately for net exam also okay so now i think uh, i have cleared your confusion so aspirants who have joined my karnataka tet and ctet courses you will have to join the hstr course because uh, the syllabus is different hstr will become next level for karnataka tet okay because in hstr the syllabus is going till degree level in karnataka tet and ctet the syllabus was only till high school okay 
and uh, because karnataka tet and ctet will come every year and they are only eligibility tests they will not be so tough when compared to hstr hstr is a recruitment examination wherein if you top and excel in the exam you will be getting the high school teacher government job and uh, that uh, notification has not come since long and the last recruitment which was done was in 2015 so it is almost eight years since the recruitment has done okay that's why hstr becomes a very very important examination a lifetime examination you can say and that can give you the high school teacher job that to a government job that's why you cannot take hstr lightly okay friends so if you have joined my karnataka tet course also you have to join hstr course if you want to prepare perfectly and get ready for the exam to get that job why because if you are a pm method aspirant you will have to learn physics till degree level you will have to learn maths perfectly till uh, i think 10 standard till 10 standard or you can say some chapters of puc are also there in maths and uh, for cb though everything is still puc one or two topics are there from degree also so everything is there from puc for cb so that's the reason why you have to prepare separately for hstr okay so this you can't get from gpstr or you can't get from tet preparation okay friends now clear right and uh, about case at exam KSET exam is MSc level syllabus, okay, it is a PG syllabus, so your TETs, GPSTR and HSTR is nowhere going to help you to write KSET or NET examination, okay, now I really hope that all your confusions are cleared, all your doubts are cleared, but if you still have any doubt, please do write in the comment section or you can also join my telegram group you can interact with me there or you can write to me to my email id i will give the email id in the description below this video and if you are interested to join my hstr courses any course either pm course or cb course then also you will get the details of that paid courses in the description below this video okay so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you are liking my work please do like my videos and share among your friends and all other teacher recruitment aspirants okay friends thank you all the best bye